gentlemen. Yeah? Oh, yeah. She was the voice of an angel. And she met the lovely Gavin, who I've met as well. I like Gavin a lot. They were nicknamed Slosh and Pex. <laughs> <laughs> Genius. You were, Genius. Like, you were Slosh and Pex. Love it. She was Rear of the Year 2002. <laughs> so you keep mentioning. I am Phil. She's back on the show. Will you please welcome the fabulous Charlotte Church, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We're up to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Because, 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 did you say you old gay when you saw me then? I did. I'm no, she sorry. said you old gay, but it sounded like said you old gay. No, I did I say you old gay. Oh, thank you. For that. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, how fabulous does Charlotte Church look? Wow, yeah. Mama. Yeah. Um, uh, well, so uh, congratulations. You, you're looking great. You seem very healthy. You seem well. You seem happy. And now, since last we met, you have another baby. I do. Too. Hello, isn't that lovely lady and gentleman? Yeah. Uh, what's lovely. the? Uh, you've got a little boy and a little girl now. Yeah, you? I got Ruby and Dexter. How lovely. So Dexter's the new one. Yeah, Dexter's. He's uh, just toddling around now. He's just turned one. Uh, and, uh, you know, over the years, you've, you've gone up and down, you've gone up and down. Yeah. Right now, I don't think I've ever seen you look thinner. I don't think I've ever been this thin. So this is something you've done uh, to get back into uh, onto TV because you're doing a new show, or is this for music or just for yourself? Because you, this has taken a lot of work, I would have thought. No, I haven't exercised or anything because it is literally against my religion. Um, <laughs> uh, I've just kind of done it through, I just don't eat as much yeah. and I eat better stuff. It's really quite simple. Um, but... Uh, yeah, so when I was pregnant, I literally ate everything inside. So it was, and like, was, someone had, it was like someone had pulled the whipcord on a dinghy. You yeah. went boom. <laughs> now, did you miss, uh, did you miss boozing? Because you, you used to be uh, someone who enjoyed boozing. I know that was overreported, yeah. but you obviously liked a night out, as yeah, all young women do, it seems. But uh, did you miss that? Because during pregnancy, I'm assuming you either no. cut back or. No, nothing or at all. Like, no, when I was pregnant, it wasn't even a, a factor for me. As soon as I was pregnant, I was just like, well, no fags, no alcohol, and it's just a given. And it was, it was quite nice. I kind of enjoyed that. Because you ha you, well, you don't have to, but I felt that I absolutely had like to. Like detoxing them, really? Yeah, and I, and I kind of, you know, it's kind of a self-imposed thing that you absolutely can't. And I kind of enjoyed that, because when you have the option, then I yeah. always take the option. Oh, uh, yeah. OK, and how is Gavin? Because he's not been playing rugby recently, has he? No, I mean, he had a lot of injury problems in the past four years when he was playing. So I think he just wanted a little break just to get his body right and... So that, you know, when he does start again, when he does start training again, he's kind of free of all of those but things. But he's pretty young still. His body will mend. I mean, he's going to get back in the game. Yeah, he's right literally before. just turned 28. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking he will start training again soon. I'm hoping for it because, you know, I'd love for our kids to see him play rugby. He's awesome. Because you, you're very loved up with him. You're, oh, yeah, always happy. And you've yeah. always found him just incredibly attractive, He's you? gorgeous. So do you. What are you lying for? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, he is very handsome. Yeah, he's lovely. Oh, he's gorgeous. Uh -huh. Does the tan come off on your face when you kiss? <laughs> no, generally it's OK. Does it come off on the pillows? No. He loves the fake tanner, doesn't he? He does, but he does But he's open about often. it. That's what yeah, I like yeah, about it. Yeah, he's pretty open about it. And he's kind of that colour anyway. He just well, because he's so thin, it's like Cuprinol. It he's is, weathered. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. He's never going to age. Like You're fine. Uh, yeah. But he's a lovely guy. I loved how relaxed and open he was about it, because I thought he might be a bit... No, he's just like, this is what I do. This is how yeah, I like to absolutely. look. Yeah, absolutely. It's a confidence thing as much as anything. Um, so uh, here's, the, uh, here's the kind of reason why we invited Charlotte Church back on. Not that she's not welcome uh, here anytime she fancies. She's here on the BBC doing the new show. Over the Rainbow starts here on the 26th of March on BBC. Uh, and, and this is you helping... It's not really, you're not really judging. You're helping kind of mentor the young women who they're going to put in the, uh, the Wizard of Oz. Is that right? Well, kind of. I think I'm kind of... They're, they're, I'm a panellist as well with Sheila Hancock and John Partridge. But then also because I'm kind of very close to the girls in age and, you know, we do a similar thing, yeah, yeah. then I think they kind of want to, me to help mould the girls um, as well. But we went, we did two days in, like, the boot camp, Dorothy Farm, and... Um, Dorothy Farm Dorothy sounds Farm. great. You've been looking for Dorothy Farm forever, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> it was a wondrous place, I'm not going to lie. Dorothy Farm, so this was all the young women who were going to be the Dorothys. How yeah. many were there? 54. 54 Dorothys? 54 Dorothys. You, Sheila Hancock and John... What's his name? John Partridge. Who was in EastEnders. Christian in EastEnders, um, yeah. and, and so they're looking over to whether the girls can act, I guess. Anything. Yeah, well, Sheila's kind of um, really looking for the acting ability and how they're portraying the emotion in the song. John's, John wants to find the complete package, but he's also looking for, like, movement and how the girls, their stage presence and things. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know what That's all this nice. is That's about. Show tunes. Um, and uh, I just want to hear how, how good their voice is and the tone of the voice. And, and you kind of help them. I've seen the clip, because, you know, obviously, 
Charlotte knows what she's talking about. You know, you don't sell 10 million albums just through luck. I mean, you don't, you know, just... Well, I, I like to think, I'd like to think so. I was classically trained when I was younger. I mean, a lot of that I've forgotten. I should probably go and do it again. Um, but, yeah. How hard is it to tell people who are singing um, that you're not quite there yet, how hard is it to be involved in choosing who stays and who goes in this show? Because you're having a, a, an impact right there on their lives, on of their careers. Of course, absolutely. And when you go into it, maybe I, I took it a little bit light-hearted. I didn't quite realise how dramatic it's and a big serious it would be. Yeah. Like. And it does mean the world to these girls. So basically, we had to go into a room and we had our 20 from 54 girls. And we asked the girls to sing Somewhere Over the Rainbow over and over again until we told them to stop. And then I had to walk around the room and touch all the girls on the shoulder that had to leave. Oh, so they gave you that job? Yeah. That's a so, tough role. Yeah, it was. It was tough. And some of the girls were just crying as soon as we got in there. And it just means the world to them. Like, and some of the girls are fine and kind of winked at me as I touched them on the shoulder. Okay, like, you I, know, I kind it's of okay, expected it. Yeah. Other girls looked at me with contempt and oh. hatred. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, and man. then... Um, that, but it had to be done, of course. And that yeah, was, they knew what done. they were signing on for, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I was you... really shocked at the standard, though, of the girls. Some of the voices were really awesome. And I just think, where do we keep finding these really really talented yeah. people, because there's a lot of these shows. Well, each year when they start those shows, you think they're not going to find any more, and uh, yeah. they, they normally do, it seems. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, it's amazing. Um, let's have a look at a clip. This is a clip of uh, Charlotte in Over the Rainbow, which does, and I think this is going to be a big hit show on Saturday nights here. I haven't seen it. Uh, you haven't seen any no, of it yet? No. Okay, this is... Uh, I think you're going to be pleased. Have a look at this. Okay. I love her. I, I absolutely love her. She, her voice reminds me of Annie Lennox. And I just think that she's so unusual, the tone, and I think she will bring some absolute magic to the show. There's some people who stand out, and that's because of their voice or their look or is this she or that. In or is she out? Please keep her in. I love her. In mm. or out? We've got to get it down to 20. I, I have to keep her All in. All right, okay, cool. She's on. my, you know, go let's go. Too. We'll keep them, it's top secret. You saying goodbye to Yeah. Oh. Oh. I felt a bit like Judas. Well, because I guess you've got to know them a bit by then. Yeah, only only a little bit. If I would have been even more attached, then I would have been in floods of tears myself. Like, because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm pretty soft. How's it going to work in the series? Then? Are you going to be in the studio while they're singing? And you'll be judging them on the night as well, like like yeah. it was Denise Van Outen and John Bowman doing the the uh, the Nancys. Of course, yeah. you'll be doing the Dorothys. So who's there in the studio with you? Be the Lord, of course. Yeah, so obviously Lord Lloyd Webber, and then there's Sheila Hancock and John Partridge. Oh, so and the... Yeah, we are the panellists oh, okay. then on the show. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. I'm just looking forward to getting dressed up every Saturday night and listening to some really good girls sing. It's like. a nice night out. Now, here's uh, what I need to know. Is you're looking for a Dorothy. Yeah. You're not looking for a Scarecrow or a Tin Man or a Cowardly Lion. <laughs> no, James has already put himself okay. forward for okay. the Lion. Quite so... right. He'd be a great Lion. He would, He'd be a great he? Lion. That's the best part as well. Yeah. Um, are you looking for a Toto, the dog? Yeah, yeah, apparently we are. You're looking now. Now, here's something which I'm sure you're going to enter into in the spirit of the evening, but uh, it's not something I suspect you'd want on your CV saying you judged dogs for well, a musical. Well, you know, it's not the most credible of roles, but I'll take it, but I'll take it. What are you looking for in the uh, dogs? I believe we're looking for a dog that is very well trained. Yes. That has the right look. It looks friendly. Really captures the spirit of Toto. Beautiful dog. Um... You need more than one, of course. Absolutely, there has to be. But it doesn't have to be a Khan Terrier, I'm told. Good, good. It can be any type of dog, even if it's Beethoven. I don't well, know what they're called. This church yeah. is your lucky night. <gasps> We're of the year 2002. I want you to meet <laughs> three little dogs who were sitting so politely for me when I came in this morning. Well, it fair broke my heart. And I thought you should be on the stage. So I took a photograph to bring in for you. Right. Don't you dare say no. Are they, are they yours? Yes. <laughs> Look at these three little princes. <laughs> now, all right, I know the one on the right has got a bit of a lipstick popping out, but ignore that. <laughs> He's pleased to see me, and he wanted one of Daddy's special tummy rubs. Look at that. <laughs> this one, uh, that one's just too scraggy. What? <laughs> the little one has got a, a, a really 
bizarrely small face. <laughs> and well, maybe, no, maybe, maybe, the... maybe the one on the on the, the black one is is okay actually. The black one's fine. So Mr. Pickle, good. you'd go with. Mr. Pickle, I'd go with. Yeah. I would warn you in advance, however, okay. he can produce the most noxious wind from his buttocks. <laughs> But only if you hold him and squeeze him very hard for quite a while. Why would you do that? Wake my wife up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've been married as long as we have. You need something to spice up the relationship. Very genius. He's like a bagpipe. I carry on. <laughs> <laughs> the kids love it. Don't bet. Uh, OK. When was the last time uh, you recorded an album? Was it the Crazy Chick period? Was that the last album that came out? Yeah, I did you came on a song and I was like 18, 19. Well, you're so. a great singer. You're a terrific singer. Thank you're you. a great performer. I've seen you do it, and it, it, it's it's brilliant. You know, you really are top of your game when you want to do it. You haven't done it for a while. You're getting no. back into it. Yeah, absolutely. I'm. Uh, I've been songwriting now for a good couple of months, and uh, I just love that whole process. And uh, I'm kind of, you know, I'm, I've grown up a bit now since, you know, I was writing before, so I think I've got a lot more to talk about and a lot more to say, and I'm working on the album uh, right now at the moment with a great producer. And so, so will you tour, will you, will you do, do you miss doing big gigs, do you miss singing in front of a lot of people, because you played to huge crowds, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I mean, in, in my time, I did the Hollywood Bowl, and I did Hyde well, Park, like, which was like 75,000 You were like the people. Subo of your day, I mean, yeah, you... you... Yeah. <laughs> She's lovely, she's really lovely. Um, yeah, absolutely. I do. I do miss it. Singing is my thing. I love it. Well, I do it a little music. bit now. Sing a bit now singing. for us. Sing now for us. What do you want me to sing? Sing a little bit of uh, somewhere over the rainbow for us. Oh, show, that's show those, embarrassing. Show, show those bitches how it should be done. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> show those wannabe bitches how. The... <laughs> don't, don't be like that. Not okay. to, I'll do it show for those, you. Let's but... do it. Okay. Show those <clears throat> lovely young ladies okay, how you would do it if you were in their shoes. Uh... In their ruby slippers. So... You need to use the diaphragm more. You need to push the man more. It's really beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that nice? That was a nice little treat. If we hadn't planned that, well done, Dave, for not, not playing along. Um, <laughs> you started, but you lost interest. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Useless. Um, Leave me alone. OK. Uh, we've missed uh, having you around. I've missed seeing you on TV. Oh, I've missed uh, seeing you record. I, I, I'm very pleased you're going to be back on. I can't wait for you to hear the album because I know you really like your music and I, th I know sometimes you like kind of kooky music and I think it might be a little bit So kooky. it's a bit strange? It's a bit different? It's not a bit you. strange, but just completely different to what I've done before and I'd just be really interested to see what you think. Well, let me have a copy. I absolutely will when and it's I, done. And, I, uh, what? and I'll tell you with great honesty. OK. Be I'll great. warn you, though, I'm completely honest. I think, I think you'll really like it. Well, if I don't, I'm going to tap you on the shoulder and say... But I don't, think I'll, I don't think I'll have that problem to face. I'll walk up to you and you'll be there and I'll go... <laughs> <laughs> and there's a gruesome image that will come back to haunt you. Yeah, um, absolutely. How lovely to have you. You're going to stick around and listen to uh, Plan I'd B? I love to. I love OK, Plan B. Yeah, well, you better not go because you know what it's like. OK. <laughs> uh, but you know what? Will you join me in saying thank you? What a lovely guest to have back on the show. Charlotte Church, ladies and gentlemen. I'm glad to see you. I can't wait to see you as well. Yeah. Because I love the musicals. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Thanks to all my guests tonight. The lovely Charlotte Church, of course.